Hi there everyone, welcome along to Aidan's Rowers today. I am absolutely bouncing at the moment because a parcel has just been delivered and I kind of knew it was coming but as you can see I've already marked off things but I know what it is, you'll know what it is anyway because of the thumbnail but it's just arrived, I'm so excited and I want to get this open and have a look at it. Let's just hope nothing's wrong with it. Let's get down on the floor and let's have a look. Okay, so it's been a while since I've done a video on the living room floor here, but I'm decorating what will be the train room. So for the moment, I'm in here. Um, I've just ripped out the uh, dispatch notes, so I haven't got to worry about them. And I've just scored along here because I wanted—I didn't want to be—I wanted to be very careful because I didn't want to wreck what's inside it. So I have opened it, but I haven't got in it yet. So <clears throat> you all know it's a set. You all know it's one of the centenary ones, and you've probably seen the image on the thumbnail. So. Oh, it's looking good so far. That looks... Wow, this feels really thick, this packaging, this cardboard. Look at that. Now, I can tell you now, that artwork is just amazing. <laughs> it is really glossy. It is really glossy. Um, the imagery is perfect, and it's got that... This really does sort of take you back. It gives you that look of the vintage Hornby Dublo. I mean, we all know it's going to be much newer inside, but that really does look... If you've ever been to Beamish Museum, it looks like it should be on a shelf in Beamish Museum. It really does. Um, you can see the side there. It's got the centenary urine. I don't know how well the camera's going to pick this up. But this is really thick, hard-wearing cardboard. This isn't like your normal cheap train set packaging. This is really, 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 really thick. Um, let's see if there's anything interesting on the back. Just the usual detailed scale model, not suitable for children under 14 years old. Did you hear that, everyone? Um, please refer to the safety notes enclosed. Colours and contents may differ from those illustrated. Well, I do hope not and please retain the details for future address reference. It's DCC ready, as we already knew it was gonna be, but just look at that. Take it in, look at that artwork. It is stunning. So this is the Hornby Double Train R1252M LNER, Sir Nigel Gresley, train set, Centenary Year Limited Edition. And that's right, it is a limited edition. So if you've been lucky enough to get one of these on pre-order, congratulations, because I was straight in there back in January. Um, the perfect miniature railway manufactured by Hornby Hornby Hobbies Limited, Margate. And we've got that lovely Centenary Year logo. I mean, this, it, I cannot get across just how beautiful that artwork is. And it's so robust, the packaging, which is kind of interesting because really you would want packaging like that on an ordinary train set so that it lasts the years. And this is something that's not going to be constantly opened and shut and pulled in and out of cupboards. This is something that is going to be genuinely left alone for quite a bit. <laughs> so, but thank you Hornby, beautiful. So I am not going to dare pull those stickers off I am simply going to run the edge of the knife along the stickers because I just to break the seals which I kind of didn't want to do but I've got to do um let's have a look oh it's got some real vacuum and weight to that <laughs> oh look and it's even on the inside so, time to upset you all. It's got a little bit of history there. It's got a little bit of history. By the 1930s, Frank Hornby's O-gauge train system had grown considerably, both in the large number of items available and in popularity. But the new houses were by that time being built smaller than they had been previously and consequently limited the space available for, amongst other things, an O-gauge train layout. Consequently, such restriction on space had an influence on the sales of Hornby's O-gauge trains. In mainline Europe, a smaller gauge was being developed, which was 
half the size of O. The new scale was classified as HO as it was half the size of the O gauge models. Faced with a potential competition, the Meccano board in 1937 decided to introduce their own system, but due to a scale versus mechanical size restrictions, they could not quite produce an HO system, but opted for a slightly larger scale, which was given the name Double O by Meccano's commercial director. The Hornby Double O scale used more or less the same wheel back-to-back -back measurement as the HO system, but generally speaking, all dimensions were increased by 0.5 of a millimeter. So that's interesting. By 1938, the fi first advert started to appear, pro appear promoting the new Hornby 00 system. Two locomotives were initially produced, one of which was a generic 062 freight model and available with GWR, LNER, LMS and SR markings, while the other featured the LNER Class A for Sir Nigel Gresley. Woohoo! <laughs> These two locomotives were available with either a clockwork mechanism or a 12 volt DC motor and both featured in individual train sets where they shared a common pack. This celebratory train set goes some way to replicating the first Hornby Dublo 1938 passenger set. The stunning and heavily detailed LNER Class A4 Sir Nigel Gresley illustrates how the design and scale integrity of model production has developed over the years. Similarly, the Gresley Teak Effect coaches that are of a different type to those produced in 1938 show the amazing advances in model production since the launch of Hornby Dublo's 1938 train sets. <clears throat> We're nearly there. This limited edition of 1000, so I've got one of 1000 or a number of 1000, I haven't looked at the certificate yet, but this limited edition of 1000 Hornby Dublo Sir Nigel Gresley train sets forms part of the train centenary group of products and celebrates the 1930s decade by using artwork inspired by the Hornby Double O packaging style of that period. Included in each set is an authentication, is a numbered certificate confirming the quantity of limited sets produced. And I have to tell you Hornby, the artwork on this is amazing. It really is. It's absolutely beautiful. So, did you take that all in? Did you make a cup or drink that cup in the time that I've read that out? But <laughs> this looks shockingly good, but I'm gonna just ease in there and that's exactly what I was looking for. I had a feeling it would all be on the inside. So, rather than open all of this right this second, because we all know about track mats, servicing manuals and everything. That's what I wanted to see, this certificate in here. And this model is one of a limited production of 1000, number 329. So I've got the 329th one of 1000. To me, the number means nothing. It's a limited edition and it is truly amazing, that package and just, just the artwork alone. So where do we start? <laughs> well, we've got the usual track. So we've got, I think it's third radius. We've got a whole oval here, some straight. We've got a re-railer. I'm not gonna go through that. And we have got, aha, we've got some extras in. Oh, we've even got the Buckeye coupling. So inside here, which is gonna struggle to pick up on, there we go, we've got a Buckeye coupling, some pipe work, and we've got the uh, rear pony truck replacement wheels with the flanges um yes and we've got some brake pipes as well brilliant <laughs> nice little detail pack and they're going to stay right in there until the railways are finished back down to the floor and we've got the usual new hornby controller which i've got to say i prefer much over the old controller when it comes down to sets where do i start right I've got a few A4s, I think you're aware of if you watch the channel. I've got the Mallard Pullman set, I've got the other early, well, was it late 80s, early 90s, I think it was late 80s, um, early 90s Mallard um, Express set as well in BR Green. I have got Silver Link and there's a couple of others floating around, I can't remember now. 
And now we have Sir Nigel Gresney. Now I chose, and you might think I'm mad here, but the reason I wanted this set really fundamentally came down to the locomotive. I remember Sir Nigel Gresley on the main line, on the SNC, on the Settlement Carlisle line, as a young child, standing there in hail the size of golf balls, waiting for it to come up Ace Gill or Garsdale and places like that. So I really wanted the A4 Sir Nigel Gresley. So that was the biggie for me when purchasing this. So, uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go to these coaches first because I have got to tell you that's actually the first time I've seen the Ice Cube packaging inside a train set packaging, but I can understand why. This is the first time I've ever had any of these Gresley Teak coaches, um, and I'm probably gonna have to buy some more now to make up the set. Um, I've got the old generic rail railroad versions, the older versions. But I've never, ever had one of these. What have we got in the top here? So, in the top here, we've got the close couplings. Oh, great. So, we've got the close couplings. Um, they can stay out of the way for the moment, but they are there. So, we've got the ordinary couplings as well, but we have got the close couplings. Oh, this is... This looks amazing. Wow. That really does look like wood and I really hope that this camera is going to do it justice and um, what I might do actually is move this box out of the way to help it focus there we go look at that we've got that cream roof look at the level of detail on this roof look at those little handrails oh wow this is this is absolute this is above and beyond and I've just noticed something with my phone which is really making me excited now. Um and we've got all these vents on the roof. They are absolutely exquisite. Look at the detail on there. The doorway and the gangway there. And those corridors look so much better. And I've just noticed, and remember I've never had these, you might have seen them before. Those buffers are sprung. That is just incredible. So even the framework has the rivets in, it's got the pipework, it's even how on earth, and I don't know if you can make that out, but it's actually got the writing in the framework. Let's have a look, can I read that? 60 foot, wow. <laughs> That is incredible. Let's have a look at the bottom here. So we've got all this detail on the frame. I mean, that wood really does look, it just looks like the teak. It's just amazing. <sighs> Taking aback. Anyway, coach number 1434, and this is our third class coach. Absolutely gorgeous. The level of detail even underneath of the braking is absolutely great. Wonderful metal wheels. Turn that over to the corridor side. Wow. Look at that. Now I didn't re I didn't remember that the corridor had that many doors on it. But oh my look at this is brilliant. Look at those separately fitted handles there. Look at them. They are just, you can see through, they're just absolutely amazing. I've never had this particular, these particular models of um, Gresley Coach. Um, this pipe work on the end, I've just noticed here, watch out if you get one. It, they are incredibly delicate. I can see them moving. All separately fitted, absolutely amazing. They really are, even with the, the cut-offs at the top there of the buffers. So we've got nice NEM couplings. Oh, these are just, this is wonderful. That is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful coach. The, the, the actual print on this is just astounding. And you're all screaming at the minute saying, move on, move on. So I'm going to move on. Anyway. So that's the first one. 
and that. I think I've resigned to the fact that I am going to end up having to buy additional coaches. So let's move on to the next, which is our brake. So, as before, we have close couplings in the detail pack. And they've got a good weight to these coaches as well. They've got a really good weight to them. So let's get focused in. Oh wow, I mean, just look at the sheen on that teak. I mean, these are just amazing. I know, I know they've been out a while, but these really are amazing compared to your usual train set railroad LNER coaches. Still sprung. Let's have a look. And I was just noticing these, these steps as well here, these steps Obviously platform levels and things like that as they were traveling along would differ. I mean, the rivet work on that framework is just absolutely amazing. Look at that. Even those bogies, absolutely gorgeous. Let's just look at the print. 58700. We've got a little first class bit here as well. I did have a look online when I knew that this was coming and I went to see just how much these coaches are because well, quite frankly I'm going to have to be build some more up. You could just run it as the two coaches but with something like this if you're going to run it you want to run it with uh, a nice good rake and I think I might even get myself a DCC sound chip as well for this locomotive. But look at the level. Oh my god i've only just noticed and i don't know whether this camera is going to be look at that smoking look at the level of detail there what's this i honestly don't know if it'll if it'll actually i don't know if i can actually focus in on that but i'm amazed it focused in on that look at that actually got the smoke in science and you and they are legible this is incredible so I look at that we've got these handrails again and they are just it's, it's amazing the level of detail for me anyway this is just incredible they are a lovely coach look at those handrails there by the guards compartment I mean sprung buffers on a coach it's just it's just one step I think it's just a, that's just wow it really is and you can see this pipe work running along as well oh that's separately fitted and um, for the time being i'm not going to be fitting those close couplings but i think when i do get the set of coaches to go with and i'll have to make a note as well which coaches reside in this box but and we get that layout finished in the train room i think the close couplings will be getting fitted as well but that is incredible I just want to have a quick look back at the, uh, the first carriage. Yes, this one that also has the smoking signs on it. Whether or not it's going to read them, there we go. There we go. So yes, that is incredible. I would love to know if it could actually read that. But it's not. Anyway, let's put that to one side. Wow, exciting times, exciting times. So this is not your railroad A4. This is your bells and whistles A4 apparently. Um, I've not got one of these. So this should be really interesting for me. So uh, yes, let's get it open. Sir Nigel Gresley. Being unbelievably careful here. And for a moment there I thought something had fallen off, but it hadn't. <laughs> it was actually a piece of packaging. But I can feel how delicate this is. Whoa. There we go. So there we go, Sir Nigel Gresley. And 
the level on this is just incredible. We've got three link couplings on the front. We have the brake pipes, sprung buffers, whistles. We've got the lamp irons. I am loving this and that motion. I'm trying to be as careful as I can because obviously it's got cab doors on and everything. So I'm so worried that damage could end up happening. So uh, yeah, <laughs> it has got me a little scared. I'm not gonna lie. So there we are, we focus back in now. There we go, St. Nigel Gresley. If you've got one of these, uh, these newer A4s, they are wonderful, aren't they? The level of detail compared to these the old ones. I mean, you just look at my old ones, and uh, there's a vast difference, even in compar well, ma massive in comparison to the uh, the railroad as well. I am super worried whilst handling this. Um, I don't know how anyone else would feel. So we've got a. <laughs> we have got Buckeye coupling on the back as well as the NEM pocket coupling, spring buffers, an actual see-through window, all that step work, the pipe work. Wow. Coal load doesn't look too bad either. I'm so scared with these being joined. I'm so scared I'm going to damage those, those uh, cab doors. But... Uh, <laughs> Look at that. I'm definitely, I think I'm definitely going to end up going to get a DCC sound decoder for this. It's, it's, it's got to have one. It's got to have one. Um, it, it, it's just got to. The, the, I, I, I know I'm losing track with the detail, but I just don't know how far I can go with it. But uh, I can tell you as well, the inside of the cab is excellently picked out. Absolutely everything inside there. All of the gauges, everything is perfectly uh, picked out. I can't hold it anymore. Um, I'm terrified I'm going to break it at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut and we're going to go, I'm going to get the track out. We're going to run this train and we're going to see it going around. So we're back in a second. Okay, people. So <clears throat> here it comes around the track. And I've just got it running at a nice little slow speed. And so majestic, don't you think? Uh, <laughs> with the with the set you get um eight third radius curves and you get one straight and one power straight. So let's just pick the speed up a little bit. Don't you just love that sound of metal wheels going on the track? Even getting the clickety clock, clickety clock. Absolutely brilliant. So I hope you can still hear me all right with this going round, but I'm going to try a few different positions with the train set while it goes round. This is an absolutely brilliant centenary train set, and I am so glad. I'm so. Wait, glad is the way to put it. I'm so honoured. I feel like I've, I've managed to get a hold of one of these sets and I managed to get that pre-order in. Um, it's it's just one of the things this year that I aim to get. And obviously you do know that I'm focusing on a different type of railway at the moment, but this is one of the things. It, this will stay with me till the day I die, as far as I'm concerned. And then Aiden can have it. <laughs> um, it, you never know like one of them things that gets passed down over the years, but this is absolutely beautiful and I really do love the level of detail on this A4. Now for another different angle, because it comes speeding around. Now I haven't got this turned right up because at the end of the day it, it needs running in and things like that. Um, so it's just running around in the one direction to give that feeling I am it is beautiful those coaches are absolutely exquisite and I really can't get over the packaging it's such a beautiful representation of those early sets I mean the, 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 the box artwork and everything about it the, the sturdiness of the cardboard that's been made to, to put it together 
is absolutely wonderful. It really does take you back to those years. Um, the quality of these these coaches. I mean, obviously, I've got I've got lots, and so does Aiden of the railroad LMR seats, which are very nice, and you can adapt them, and you can make them look much better. There's a lot of techniques out there doing it, um, but these coaches really do put them to shame. They really do put them to shame. And I have to admit that I am going to have to, maybe not right now, but in the future, I am going to have to get some more coaches of this quality to run with this locomotive. I love playing around with the different angles on this at the moment. Um, there we are, look at it going around. If you can find any of these still available to get, whether it be patterns or rails or your local model shop or something, wherever, if you can actually manage to get yourself one of these, I would thoroughly recommend it. And Hornby, you got this out to me so quickly. From the moment of say that the payment being taken to, to receiving it this morning, um, absolutely amazing. Um, Hornby, happy birthday <laughs> again. Um, I do hope that everything else that I get from you this year is just as wonderful as this. I really do. Um, I can't keep waffling on anymore. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you with some running shots of this set and uh, I'll catch you again in my next video. See you again soon and I hope you enjoy.